All right, welcome brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen to the new black media. Today's broadcast is about a St. Louis man who was arrested for one of at least a dozen fatal shootings involving children. Now family, pay close attention to this story because as I show you the video that's about to proceed, connect the dots. So a 54 year old St. Louis white man has been arrested in connection with the death of a teenager who was among at least a dozen children 16 or younger killed by gun violence since April police said on Friday. The suspect Joseph Renick, white male pictured before your eyes Faces charges of first degree murder, armed criminal action, and unlawful possession of a firearm for the fatal shooting of 15 year old Centennial Cox on Sunday, according to the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office. Police said officers responding to a missing person call arrived in the Carondelet neighborhood last weekend to find Centennial dead from a gunshot. Renick was being held on a half a million dollar bond according to the circuit attorney's office. A teenager who identified himself as a friend of victim of the victim told the St. Louis Post Dispatch that Centennial was headed home when he was shot to get home the teen often cut through an empty lot near the site of the shooting, the friend told the newspaper. Centennial's body was found less than 48 hours after another child, 8 years old, Journey Thompson, was shot and killed outside a preseason high school football game. So family, check this out and connect the dots. During a community town hall in downtown St. Louis, in passion and outrage against the gun violence epidemic. Our nation and this community have reached a tipping point. Gun violence is a public health emergency. It's an emergency. Losses beyond reason when children are running from bullets. He will always make me feel safe. Two sisters and a friend, too young to be saying this. I miss his laugh. I miss his voice. They were all playing with seven-year-old Xavier Yusunga in their backyard when gunfire broke out down the block. A bullet hit Xavier in the throat. I've been mad and sad sometimes. Don Yusunga could only watch as violence in the neighborhood took another child, hers. Everybody says it's time for change. You know what? It's really time for change. We're killing more kids and we can keep count of. That message repeated by at least a dozen families in St. Louis, that's how many kids have been killed here just since April. The youngest, only two. The pain, hard to watch. The happy memories that we had ain't even enough, is it? <laughs> These families told us they want the nation to feel their pain. If the photos aren't enough, listen to this man, a bystander he tried to save eight-year-old Journey Thompson. She was unresponsive. Uh, tried to find the bullet wound, found it in her abdomen. You can see the life leaving. Yeah. Journey was hit when shots rang out outside a high school football game. Journey was a lover, a protector, a fighter. Her father says Journey wanted to be a police officer. She was always the protector. Things will not just be the same anymore. My house is dry. John, I don't know if you can imagine this, but we were talking to several of these families. They have other kids in the household, and now they are personally touched by all that is going on. And a lot of these murderers haven't been caught yet. You have community leaders saying, look, there's an urban decay that's going on in the city that has to stop somehow. But so far, there are no short solutions to this long-term problem. A nation of multi-racial... So family, you saw the video. Well, Renick, Renick's is the second arrest 
in the string of shootings. Police said a suspect was in custody in connection with the death of a seven-year-old Xavier Usanga, who you heard in the video, who you heard about. The boy was fatally shot earlier this month while he and his sisters played in the backyard of their home in the city's Hyde Park neighborhood. The suspect has yet to be charged, authorities said. Federal prosecutors said a St. Louis man facing an unrelated federal charge admitted to shooting Xavier. He has not been charged in Xavier's death, CNN affiliate reported this month. Centennial's fatal shooting was the latest in what has been a deadly summer for young black people in St. Louis where police are investigating at least 10 of the juvenile shootings as homicides while two others have been classified as suspicious according to spokeswoman Evita Caldwell. People carried balloons at a Tuesday vigil at the lot where Centennial was killed. His mother tried to encourage the teenagers mourning him. Quote, do what you need to do to survive, said Roxana Edwards. Quote, you can die at any time. Don't take your precious time for granted, unquote. Local reports indicated a 10-year-old girl was among the victims in a triple homicide over the weekend, but it wasn't immediately clear if she was shot or stabbed. The St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department did not include her in a list of young gunshot victims. Frustrated residents gathered for another vigil on Wednesday to remember the lives of the city's young children killed in recent months. The names of the dead flashed across an electronic screen. A local lawmaker read them out loud. The killings have led to tearful vigils around the city for the innocent victims of gun violence. Quote, we all feel the hurt and pain every day of the week, said James Clark of the community outreach organization Better Family Life. The youngest victim is two-year-old Caden Johnson, who was killed in late April along with his 18-year-old mother, Trinity Riley, police said. Last weekend, city officials announced a grim formula for calculating rewards leading to the children's killers. Catch this, $25,000 for each child younger than 10 for a total of $100,000. Well, it goes to show you how much black life is valued to the dominant society. $25,000 for each child for a total of $100,000 for the reward. And catch this though, the insult to the injury. The reward money will expire Sunday, officials said. Now, Dominus Society, all I can tell you is if that is not so low and dirty and shameful that you can't keep the reward money available for anyone turning in suspects, this is why you don't get any of our crimes or murders solved and yet you say that well you actually you have all kinds of excuses as to why you never find these suspects for black killings but yet you want to point your fingers at black America and say look at Chicago when we know good and well that most all of those killings that's been shootings that's been happening in Chicago you don't have any evidence you don't have any suspects, you don't have diddly squat, but yet you keep using the narrative and the talking points on your white media stations, constantly blaring out, telling people these fabricated lies that is black on black crime, when you don't have any evidence of that. Because like I said, you don't have any suspects, you don't have any video footage, you know, like all the video footage we have when we prove our points that you guys even fail to prosecute in a court of law, even with a video. It's so shameful, this sick racist system. It's a racial system, not a justice system. This is the black media. Connect the dots to this guy and all those child killings. Peace out.